Okay, we're back in Narsh. Let's see what we've got. I see a couple shops we can explore, maybe. Two old men making out in the steam. Oh, relic shop. What are you doing, old man? I saw some Moogles walking with a Sasquatch. Sure you did. What do you got? Mithril glove. Safe when hit points low. Shell when hit points slow. That wouldn't be bad. Magic damage sucks. Dark Petrify. Yeah, I'm good. Reminds me I need to switch my items. Like that. Nothing else in here. Let's see if we can find some clock elixirs. Any new weapons we can have? Let's see, Regal Cutlasses. Oh boy. So, no. Well, there's a weapon for those two. That's pretty cool, because it lets her uh, attack from the back row, but it doesn't let her use her runic ability. Which is actually not a big deal. There's not going to be a lot of magic combat for a while. Uh, full Moon's pretty cool, though. I would like more than one. Let's see, what can I sell? I don't need all these feathered hats anymore. Frankly, I didn't need to buy these in the first place, since everyone's wearing freaking green berets. <sighs> you two. You. No, go back to buying stuff, you twat. Okay. What's he even equipped with? I guess I just had extras. <clears throat> now he's equipped with two full moons, though, by God. I don't even know what those are. Probably some, I'm sure there's some sort of boomerang. I'm just not sure what they look like. I'm sure one of the Moogles had one earlier. Now we can go up to the mines and we can go look at the Esper and nothing really happens. Uh, bandanas... No. Uh, yeah. A uh, mithril shield wouldn't be bad for those two. Extra shieldy, shieldy goodness. Let's head on down to Figaro. Figaro! I'll stop that. There are some new bad guys around here. I think they're mainly in the desert. So we'll not be screwing with them. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a little figure eight. Take that, bunny! <laughs> that screwed up. Yeah! Free tonic. That's what that fight was all about. It's all about that free swag. I'm trying to remember where stray cats are. They're apparently supposed to be really, really good early on for uh, Zoltan. But I don't ever remember having that uh, transformation. Oh. I accidentally did blitz. With no input! <laughs> oh, me. Shall we? There we go. Yay for shooting them all and being done with it. With a fair amount of gold. Okay, back to figure out the Must find... I don't know who we're supposed to find. Oh! <laughs> this is like old times. I'll have to wander around for a while. Now's not the time, Eddie. God damn it. Anyway. 
Welcome back, King Orlok. Make yourselves at home. We have to spend the night. Yeah, we'll take a rest. Yep, there we go. Castle hasn't changed much. And yet, it's all different. Mom and Dad are gone. Everyone's gone since that day. Tonight took a turn for the worse. There's a chance he might. No! You're, you're wrong! This can't be! The king, he's... an empty bed. Eddie! Eddie! My father, I don't believe this. Father, he just uttered his last wish, that Figaro be divided between you. This is nonsense. Everyone's saying that the Empire poisoned Dad. And the only thing on your mind is who's going to be the next king. You're all pathetic. No one cared when Mom died, either. You're as bad as any of them. Eddie. Empire of murderers, they won't get away with this. Go out in the wilderness and punch trees for 25 years. Matron, please leave us. I'm out of here. I'm forsaking this war sick realm for my dignity and freedom. You said you you said you were sick of it too, right? Freedom. What'll happen to this realm if we both leave? What would Dad say? Eddie will settle this with the toss of a coin. If it's Ed's, you win. We'll choose whichever path we want without any regrets, okay? This is for Dad. Then you opted for your freedom. It's been ten years, little shrimps grown up into a whopping lobster. And you're a king crab. Eddie, I often wonder if he'd be proud of me. Don't you ever doubt that. Ten years. Where has the time gone? Well, you punched a lot of trees, I understand. Here's to a couple of confused old grown-ups. Here's to Dad. To Mom and Figaro. See, we got a little flashback, wasn't that nice? Now we can go activate the thingamabobber that makes us dive underground. I can't remember where it is. It's in the central area. I think. Probably wrong. I'll say it's down here. 
it's not. It's where a merchant guy is. Oh, but we want him. Hey. Just items. I don't want items. I think he gives them to us at a discount, because he doesn't want to charge us anything. Shut up and take my money. Ah, there we go. We need more money, because we want the flash. And we need the drill, too. So we don't need this. Oh, that's not very expensive at all. Shut up and take my money. Lots of requests this month. If it's your wish, I'll take you beyond the mountains. Yes, please do so. There's going to be a lot of places to go spend money at for the time being. Kind of miserable. Western continent, or part of the continent, whatever. Got new places to go to. There's a town right there. Yeah, lovely. Sandray. Oh, new horrible tools to use on things. town yet, because we wouldn't be able to buy anything anyway. Let's go check out up here. And fight more sand rays! See, it's... I think it's... it's basically the auto crossbow, except it's magic damage and it ignores their defense. Because, you know, because it's magic damage. I forget what this is up here. I think this is a crazy guy who wants to open up a coliseum one day. That sounds about right. Ooh, those are big and ugly. Tough, too. Blinder? Some... Hey, free Phoenix down though. Got a thousand gold. <coughs> I can handle that. <laughs> Crazy people music. Hey, and here, here, what? Raises fight and magic damage. Huh. Sweet. Sounds pretty awesome. Can't let the world become too peaceful. People are at their best when they're at war. My Colosseum will be a monument to war. If I can ever get the help I need to finish it. Well, good luck with that. Psychopath. How many eye drops left? No. I don't want to use a waste of remedy on it, but I also don't feel like being blind. <laughs> oh, hubris. More overworld traveling. Yoikes and huzzah! Red flag. Those are interesting. And 
Blow up the bird. Blow up the void. level and a bunch more gold, though. That's pretty awesome. So this way, you don't really have to grind in this game. The, the fights are generally enough to keep you on par. Drill! I'll drill him for the lead. Bend over. More free Phoenix down? Never say no to that. Anyway, I think we're going to explore town next time. Everyone was scared when this glowing creature stopped here. They left to the south towards Gidor. Also, Grunt! We meet again. Leave me alone. Stay away from that guy. He's an assassin. And watch out for Scott. He's a dick. Um, yeah, if you come here with three people, he'll join your party and leave like two fights into the adventure. And then you'll be stuck with three people. Kind of miserable. <laughs> oh, lordy. Not what you want. Anyway, I think I'm going to take a break for a while. I might get some more recording done tonight. I haven't decided. I've already done. This is my third set, I think, so yeah. It's going pretty good, I think. Anyway, we'll explore town, and then we'll head south to G-Door, and we'll figure out what the hell happened to Marstick. What on earth is wrong with you, child? Cease! Shining creature was so frightened to us all, but I found it. Beautiful! It's because you're weird. It's really a ghost. It stopped right in front of me. I could see it had gentle aisles. It was beautiful! Yeah, that's enough of that crap. I'll see you guys next time.